All right, today in the Creative Corner, we are joined here with Donald Green. Thank you, Donald, for joining us on Creative Hustle, where we like to ask creators how did you take your idea and turn it into a business. So thank you for joining us. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what your foundation is. How you doing? Hi, guys. My name is Donald Green, Jr. I'm based out of Connecticut. And my, my organization is called Save Our Schools for Our Kids Foundation, which I founded and started in 2018. So, um, my organization is basically based off of focusing primarily in the underprivileged community starting, but I created a, a university of actual learning with 17 academies in there. So we have career, career pathways, preparation training courses, um, all type of courses in there for the kids from pre-K to 12th grade. So they in, in our courses, you, you'll you be able to get certified in some classes, like you get your, F, your FAA drone private license. You you could get certified on, you know, financially certified through the SIE oh, wow. um, courses, the financial courses. I actually wrote the preparation course to that like i created my own preparation curriculum for that because i like when i first when that law first came about the sie 2018 october 1st when they made that law into effect i went on tour i toured with the hbcus and other corporations to see okay. how the effect it was doing because a lot of these corporations the numbers be fake the numbers is fraud. Like basically, I I I know the like you if if you go on the internet right now, you'll see the 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 past the past percentage rate is I think is maybe like in the high eighty percent ninety percent. I'm here to say I witnessed that. That's false. Because what? the thing the thing is with that is that they're they're incorporating uh a new this basically something new. To kids that don't even know what what this is, like we came when we came up through the high schools and, and the high school eras, they didn't give us that financial literacy. Right. So now you you trying to open that book up to us in college on like, all right, this is your career you could be, and that's foreign to a lot of kids. And I know that because I sat there and asked them. I was like, all right, so explain this to me. Like I have a survey and, and I, I actually have documentaries on everything I've been doing with this process. So, but the thing is the why those numbers is fake is because not too many people sign up. Right, right. So if you got one, you got three people signing up and two people pass, you're going to have good numbers. We're on Creative Hustle on ESPN Richmond 106.1 FM. And we're here with Donald Green from Save Our Schools for Our Kids Foundation. Tell us a little bit about the name behind that and also how you came, like, you know, what made you take it from just being an idea to where you said, all right, I'm gonna actually start this and go about it. Like, how did that come about? So basically Save Our Schools for Our Kids Foundation, it actually came from, it came from experience. It, it started with trauma and it came from experience. So basically getting back to my situation, and this and 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 I'm kind of happy I don't remember the year and it's kind of weird to me but I I was shot and I actually don't remember the exact year and I'm kind of glad I don't. So I know like six seven years ago I was shot and recovering from my incident I went to school every day with my daughter. And then from like just going to school every day with my daughter, I experienced from that side of the field what is it like and I understood that. My a lot of parents utilize school as a form of daycare. Yes. It's, it's just a daycare to them. Like they anything outside the classroom, they're not engaged with what the kids learn or what's the next step for them. None of that. So when I, I started experiencing that and me going to school every day with my daughter, I became a, a like assistant to the classroom. And I even followed that teacher to a new school she went to the following year and was still doing the same thing. So it, it it became like I started going to like the board of ed meetings, um, just the, these meetings where everybody talking about education at, because now I see where the problems are. You know what we, we all know what the problem is, but yeah. a lot they they just want you to ramp and yell. They don't want you to execute. That's the whole problem. They want you to to come there, to talk your drunk, and they don't want you to execute. Execute because the real problem to what what is needed is we need the funding to, to to solve these problems. That that that's very true. We're here with Donald Green from Save Our School Found Save Our School for Our Kids Foundation, 
And um, before the interview started, we were talking about people working and relying on people. Talk a little bit more about that, because that's something I can relate to even in my field in media. I try to help people out and, you know, give them opportunities and jobs. And then they treat it like you're just a guy with an opportunity instead. But they'll go to McDonald's, like you said, clock in every day at nine, leave at five, and they know the process. So speak a little bit more about that. So like me, I run multiple business. I wear many hats. Like I also run a moving company that's in five states. I got a production company, entertainment marketing firm. I manage artists. I manage businesses. It's a, it's a few things. I, I, I wear a lot of hats. I'm invested all the way around the board. But the thing is, I understand with our own people. It, that's the thing. It's our, it's our own people. Is that when you try to open up an opportunity for them, it's like you don't get the proper respect. Yeah. Like the, the like the like the next person that they'll go fill out the application for and show up every day on time, the proper communications, respect, I apologize, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to do this, this, that, and the third. They, they, they're gonna give all that layout, but with you, it's F you, I don't care about this, this, that, and the third. And I'm paying you more than what they pay you, and I'm not even taxing. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's weird to me, like, just like on this project I'm working on, like the, the, the launch of my television app. And it's like, I couldn't have realized before, before even in, infusing the interns, I was like, these people don't really want you to succeed. Yeah, they don't. Because, because at the end of the day, what I kind of, I came to realize is that they probably had that vision, like, yo, he's about to be a corporate boss or he's about to be this, he's about to be that. And I, I don't I don't really I can't put my finger on it. Those are just like hypothetical theories I'm thinking. But it, it's like it's it's a common trait. It's it's crazy because it's a it's a common trait with a lot of this stuff. And I, I really don't understand it. So we're in Creative Corner with Donald Green of the Save Our Schools for Our Kids Foundation. One of the last questions I have for you is like, you know, where do you what's next for like you know, the foundation and any projects you have coming up, like what, what's going on with that? So right now we are launching, uh, um, we're launching the television app, like all my businesses, I have an umbrella, it's called Familia Doro, which stands for Golden Family in Italian. So it's like under that umbrella is the Familia Doro production entertainment firm. I have a, I also have a mobile app that got games, probably like 20 games up there, social media up there. Um, but we're launching all of this stuff is a get ready to publicly launch because it's available everywhere. iOS, Android, like the TV app is available on Roku, Amazon, um, Fire. It's on, on all the platforms. So, but what what's next is that we're launching this because what's connected to this app is different from a Hulu or Netflix app. So it's like, I'm making this app available to the community. So let the community get their exposure and putting their content up there. Mm -hmm. also with the knowledge on not getting robbed for your content like youtube and tiktok is doing so we leveraging with this with this platform we're leveraging the the big sponsorship funds because people don't understand that the numbers that's behind like the corporation what they dish out for marketing like just last year alone in marketing marketing the marketing spend in america was 300 billion dollars that these companies spent Mm -hmm. so if I could create a platform and leverage that I could draw the money back in the community where people who could really get paid off their content that's good that sounds good um, on Roku what's it called on Roku so people can look for you um, on there it, it, it's, called, it's called Familia Duro TV so it's F-A-M-I-G L-I-A Doro D-O-R-O TV this okay. familiar TV app. So it's available. It's eight, you can go up there and see. It's not publicly launched yet, but you'll see, like, I have stuff up there. I got okay. the artist music channel. Got the Spanish artist mu music channel. Uh, also, if you want to download a mobile app, it's the same thing, Familiar Doro, but it's mobile. Familiar Doro mobile. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Also, let them know your social media and also how they can learn more about the foundation if they wanted to. Sorry about that. That's somebody calling me. Oh, no, you're good. Um, let them know your social media and where they can learn more about the foundation. So the the, the, the foundation is at Save 
our schools, the number four, our kids. That that's the social media. You could also go to the dot com. It's spelt the same way. Save our the number four schools. Well, save our schools the number four our kids dot com. And I'm on all the social media platforms. You could you could go to my my social media Donald Green, and you'll you could add me. Well, I don't know. I probably got too many followers now, so I think I'm over the limit on that part. But we also have the social media pages for all that. You can also follow on familiarduro.com, uh, Familiar Duro TV on all the platforms, like literally. Like what I'm doing with this platform is different. So like we on all the platforms. Okay, so, like, cool, cool, cool. I hear you. All right, well, folks, you heard it first right here on Creating Hustle, where we like to ask creators, how did you take your idea and turn it into a business? Donald, thank you so much for joining me right here. And keep me in, informed on what's happening in the future, okay? Thank you. All right. Yeah, definitely.